Hey everybody, welcome back to Tiny's Flips. Thanks for joining us again. We are finally standing in front of our first flip house. We just closed on this house a few days ago. Um, we're ready to start remodeling this, so we figured we'd do our walkthrough before we start doing any work so you guys can follow our progress as we go along. So please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and smash that notification bell. Let's get started. So this is the front of our new flip house. As you can see, it's got slump block with just a lap siding over the top of it. We are going to change the color of the siding. Most of the windows have been changed to the new vinyl windows, but we do have some old aluminum windows. We're gonna change those to the new vinyl windows. The slump block, we're hoping to use some stain to change the color of it. The front door will be changed. This yellow glass around the front door is going to get changed. We're going to repaint the house. And then the roof is actually in really good shape, and it's actually a metal roof. I haven't been up there yet to do any kind of an inspection but from what I've seen so far it looks pretty good so we'll get up there at some point and check that out let's move around to the side here's our garage side of the house it looked like originally they had planned to put a garage door in but they never did so we're gonna we're gonna make that a true garage and add a garage door the siding on this side of the house is in pretty bad shape so we're gonna end up having to replace some of it you can see our property is pretty big this sits on a little over a half an acre there's an old storage shed out back when we go around the corner over here you'll see two more outbuildings. Those two outbuildings, one's just a shed and then the other one is a pump house for a well. All this nasty fencing, we'll rip all that out and clean all that up. Now we're on the back side of the house. Looks like it needs to be repainted. There's a couple of windows that need to be changed out. The septic system was replaced by the previous homeowner, so we won't have to do that. It's all been inspected and replaced. If you get closer here, you'll see that this lid on this porch is in pretty bad shape. We're going to fix all that and make that look much better. There's one of those old aluminum windows we'll change that out and put in a vinyl window in that's the back of the house and then this is the side of the house sorry for the weird angle it's hard to get in here see it very very well but I'll walk down here and kind of show you what we're gonna be doing over here probably gonna have to upgrade our electrical service we want to add an AC unit to this house and this this uh electrical service is only 100 amps so we're gonna have to upgrade that and then of course we got some of these aluminum windows we'll get rid of those repaint this siding on this side and, and hopefully dye this this slump block a different color let's go on inside so let's head on inside and see what we're going to be doing in there the first thing you see is a closet we're going to change this floor plan around a little bit to make it a little more open but as you come in you've got a hallway goes around corner to a couple of bedrooms and then you've got your mechanical closet and your laundry closet here from here to our right is our first living room. There's a fireplace there. Floors aren't in terrible condition, but I think we're gonna end up replacing most of them. This is off to the living room we were just looking at. This was, it looks like a, originally a dining room. So we've got an old building. We're gonna take all that out, open this up a bunch and repaint. And of course, probably new flooring. So as we leave this dining room, we come into the kitchen, which you can kind of get an idea what that is gonna require. So we're gonna tear this kitchen out and completely redo it. Then you've got I think what looks like another smaller dining room here. We're going to incorporate that, I think, into the kitchen more. Again, probably change light fixtures. From this secondary dining room, there's a nice big living room. Very expansive. And then it's got this wall on it which we're probably gonna do something different here. Older light fixtures, we'll end up changing all those out. Other thing is, is oh, the good old popcorn ceiling. Gotta love that stuff. That'll all get scraped and redone. Coming out of that great room, off to the right of it is a little like entryway from the garage. It's got a bunch of cabinets in it and a closet. We're probably gonna end up taking and making this our laundry room, but right now that's kind of the shape it's in and it's got a tiled floor. So beyond this little laundry room, you've got a half bath, got a sink with a mirror, and you come around the door and you got your toilet and a cabinet up here. To the right of this laundry room is the door that goes out to the garage. Come out here, you can see you got some old cabinets and some things that the previous homeowner left. Got some holes in the walls, kind of a bad texture job in here. So we'll clean all that up. But what's really cool about this garage is there's a little workshop in the corner here. It's kind of dark in there, but you can kind of see there's some cabinets and some and a little bit of room to to do a few things in so that'll be a nice little feature for this house is for whoever buys it coming back through the laundry room coming down the hall there's the kitchen again come down this hallway there's a closet in here and then there's the main entrance to the front door again got a little hallway into this bedroom right here so this is the first kids bedroom just a little little kids bedroom there's a closet there to the right mind the light so this is the first bedroom we come to 
It's got this built-in cabinet here. That's kind of a neat little deal. So after leaving that bedroom, come around here. Again, mind the light. This is the master bedroom. Got a master bath right off of it. Got a couple sinks. Got a tub shower combination, which probably end up doing something different there. And then a little, little cubby for the toilet. Again, aluminum window, little cabinet up there. And then these lights, which definitely will get changed, but Kind of an interesting way to do a vanity light. And coming out of the master bathroom, you got your little master closet. Pretty good size. Come in here. Somebody's already built like shoe holders. And you got a double shelving in here. So it'll be a nice master closet. So leaving the master bedroom and going back down this hallway towards the front door. Again, you got your, your laundry and your mechanical closet. We have Two more bedrooms down this hallway. So these two bedrooms are identical. They're just kind of flipped, but you can see again, an old aluminum window, popcorn ceiling, old light fixtures. I'll we'll have to fix that up a little bit. And then coming around here, you got the closet for this bedroom. And if you come around the corner here, you got this little hall bathroom. It's got its single sink, got an old light fixture there. And then it's got a bathtub with a shower over it and then your toilet of course and last but not least is this other bedroom here kind of a mirror of the other bedroom i showed you it's got its own little closet there and then you got another little build in here in this hallway and then you got another little what used to be a water heater closet here you can see all the piping and gas for the old for the old water heater so we'll, we'll do something with that all right we're back in the kitchen real quick i just wanted to show you guys this i thought this was pretty cool this is the original building permit for this house. Looks like the inspections were done back in 721 of 75, 106 of 75. So pretty cool. We found this in the window in the garage, An old building permit. Here's the floor plan of the home as is. As you can see, it is very compartmentalized and we want to create a more modern and open floor plan. To start, we will be removing the front entry closet. None of the walls are load bearing, so we shouldn't have any problems removing those walls. Then we will remove these walls in the living room, mechanical room, and laundry room. None of these are load bearing walls. Next, these walls in the living room will need to be removed and these are load bearing walls. These are going to require that we install beams above them. The last sets of walls to be removed are in the entertainment room. The entry into the room will be widened. This will require putting a header in. Then the two walls in the closet will be removed to increase the square footage of the shop slash storage that's off of the garage. Now that we've discussed the walls that are being removed, we'll go over the rest of the changes. Since we removed the entryway coat closet, the closet around the corner has been turned into the coat closet. A small wall will be framed to distinguish the hallway from the living room. This small closet will be closed off from the hallway, but opened into the bathroom to become a linen closet. The bedrooms will remain the same. Now that the washer and dryer and mechanical closets are gone, this hallway closet is going to be split into a pantry and furnace closet. The two bedroom layouts will remain unchanged, However, the master bath will have the tub removed and replaced with a standing shower. In the kitchen, we'll be doing all new cabinets and countertops. The kitchen layout has been changed to have a standalone island. Lastly, the entryway from the garage will have the built-ins torn out and turned into an actual laundry room while housing the water heater. Now that we know the changes that we're making, here's the proposed floor plan. This will create a more modern and open floor plan which is desired in today's homes. All right, we've done our interior and exterior walkthrough. You've got a good view of what we're working with. Uh, you've also seen our plans that we're going to do. Um, we're uh, gonna take some walls out, move some things around, try and modernize the house and make it look more up to date. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you follow the rest of the videos as we change this house. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell and we'll see you as we move on.